I love Levi's. An American original, they've been making jeans since 1853. In fact, if you've watched my interchangeable wardrobe series, you know that I recommend that every man should own a pair of dark, well-fitted jeans. That being said, Levi jeans do have an issue and any guy that's been out there shopping for a pair knows what I'm talking about. Three words, too many options. 501s, 502s, 505s, 511s, 513s, 514s, 527s, 541s, 559s, 569s. And that's just some of the styles, which by the way, have changed over the decades. The purpose of today's video, gents, is to give you the information you need. So whether you're buying Levi's online, you're buying them in the store, you can find the perfect fit for your body type using the information I'm providing today. So the way I'm going to organize today's video is based off of fit. I'm going to start off with skinny fit. We're going to go to slim fit. Then we're going to hit taper. Next straight fit. We're going to get into boot cut and then relaxed. Now, for those of you with OCD, this is going to drive you nuts. And that is the way that Levi's has the numbers organized. You would think it should be sequential. You, I mean, that's an easy way to do it. But unfortunately, because this company has been around so long and they've got so many different styles that came out in different time periods, you're going to find that these numbers, they try to get them to match up, but they don't. I mean, what is going on with those 603s right there? Where did those come from? And why aren't the 501s at the top? You know, this is going to make sense. What I'm going to do this in order of is fit. So if you're a thin guy, this first part of the video is for you. If you're a heavier guy, the second half is for you. I will say though that any man can wear any style or any fit of jeans, but in general, you want to go with something that works with your body built. And I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So the first category we have is the skinny jean category. And there are three styles of jeans we're going to see in this category. 501s, 510s, and 519s. The 519s are extremely skinny. They're actually kind of rare to find. You're also going to see 501 skinnies, but the predominant gene and the one we're going to talk about in this particular category is the 510. Now, the key characteristic of a pair of 510s is they sit right below the waist and all the way down, they fit the body close. Now, there have been videos in the past in which I said that skinny jeans should be abolished. That's not exactly true. If you're a thin, a skinny guy, skinny jeans actually can fit your profile well. Now, when you go look at the different sizes though, over on the Levi's website, you'll see 27 waist, 28 inch waist, 29 inch waist. That's where I think it really makes sense. They do have a 38 inch waist for skinny jeans. I would be careful there. In general, if you're a heavier set guy, you want to be careful when you're trying to pull off skinny jeans. Next up, let's talk fabric. In general, most Levi's are going to be made from cotton, but they are going to add 1% some sometimes more of a stretch material. You're going to see elastane. I think this is a great thing, especially jeans fitting close to the body. You want to have that bit of stretch. And I know some people, hey, I want 100% cotton. No, I think that they've come a long way in the last 40 years with polyesters and the other blends that they're creating. So it is something that don't fear if you see like 25% polyester in a pair of Levi's. That's sometimes a good thing again, because they're bringing it into areas and they're weaving it with the cotton in a way that it's going to give you better performance. Now, 510s in general come in five different color schemes. You're going to see blacks, you're going to see grays, you're going to see dark washes, usually in an indigo color, you're going to see a medium wash, and you're going to see a light wash. My suggestion, if you want something interchangeable, go with a dark wash, go with black, or go with gray. Next up, let's talk about slim fit jeans. We've got 511s, 513s, 522s, and 603s. So first up, we've got the 511 slims. In my opinion, one of the better styles out there for young men. I know my son prefers this style because he's got a fit body. He takes care of himself, but he's still relatively thin. He doesn't want to go full on skinny. He wants more freedom of movement, and that's exactly what the 511s give him. They're not going to be loose and baggy like a pair of straight Levi's would on him, but the 511s are just perfect for his frame. In general, 511s are cut close, but not restrictive. Now, let's say you're a little bit huskier. You're still in good shape, but you've got a little bit larger thighs. You've got a bigger buttocks. Then you want to check out 513s. These are going to be slim straights. Cut very similar to the 511s. These are going to have a little bit more room in the waist and the thigh area. They're going to taper not as much at the bottom, but they still have a good taper. They're not going to be a boot cut. Now, what about the 522s? What about the 603s? Unfortunately, I think these have been discontinued. If I'm wrong, please let me know down in the comments. But whenever I go over the website now, I see 527s. I see 531s. These are new styles. And again, this is what Levi's is constantly doing. They're testing trends. They're saying, okay, we're going to come out with a new number. We'll only do this maybe a limited run. Oftentimes, if they put it in the slim category, it's going to be a variation of those classic 
5.11s, those classic 5.10s. Now, what about 5.22s? Well, I saved this one because it gets confusing. Levi's changed it up on us. 5.22s are now known as 5.12s. In any case, they are a slim taper. What is a slim taper? What's the difference between 5.12s and let's take 5.11s? That's the best comparison. There really isn't much. Overall, the upper fit is going to be the same, but once we get go down the leg, we're going to see the taper on the 5.12 is closer. In fact, we lose about an inch and a half on the overall diameter on the leg opening. So, you can expect the taper on the 5.12s just to be closer. Now, in support of today's video, I created additional charts. We created an article that goes into a lot more detail. So, if you want more information down in the description of today's video, I'm going to link over to my website, realmenrealstyle.com and there's a special page. There's an entire article that goes into this in more detail. And while you're over at our website, I challenge you to find out your style score. If you haven't seen this, we've got a quiz that you answer a number of questions and it's going to spit out a score. It's actually really detailed, really fun and let's find out where you score. And what's cool about this is we tell you how to improve your score because every point you can improve on your style score, you can improve the image, the message you're sending the world and we show you exactly how to do that once you've answered the quiz. And as an added bonus, once you get your style score, let me know down in the comments. I'll get down there and heart a few of you guys and maybe even choose a few of you guys to send out a challenge coin to. You know, we love these challenge coins here at Real Men Real Style. So, I want to see what you scored. Let me know down below. Now, this next category, the tapered category can be a bit confusing because some of the jeans in here can actually fit in other categories. Example being the 5.12s, which I said are going to be over in slim, but they also fit right in with the tapered because they are tapered cut. Uh, but we're also going to see in this category some 501s custom that are tapered, but really it's the new emergence of the 502s that we see dominating this category. So, I want to take a second to highlight the 502s because this is a new modern jean that if you haven't been wearing Levi's for maybe a decade, you might have missed. They took the 501 and on the 502, they modernized. They gave you a little bit more room on that straight cut. You maybe didn't have enough room in the thighs. It wasn't something that maybe you wanted to dress up. You didn't have a lot of options when it came to fabrics. They fixed all this with the 502. They left the 501s alone. Thank goodness that's the classic. But in the 502s, we have something that if you wanted to go maybe with a khaki style, if you wanted to go in a different material other than denim and you wanted to be able to dress these up maybe with a sports jacket or still dress them down, have something that's versatile but you want that more modern fit with a bit of taper at the bottom and that's the key is on the 501s, they're going to be more wide at the bottom, the more classic look straight up and down but those 502s are going to have that tapered look that you can even wear dress shoes with them and I think it looks really good. If you haven't checked out the 502s, go do it. Now, if you try on those 502s and they're too tight, you want to check out the 541s. These are going to be an even looser fit. In fact, they could go over to the looser side, but I'm putting them here in tapered because they do still have that tapered cut. So, if you've got your, you spend a little bit of time in the gym, you spend a lot of time squatting, you just got a little bit wider area in the hips, the 541s are probably a good option for you. For you big boys out there, you heavy set gentlemen, check out the 550s. These are going to be the relaxed cut that come with that tapered style so that you can dress them up, you can dress them down. Next up, we've got the straight cut and this is where Levi started over 150 years ago with their original 501s. So, if you think about it, that says a lot about a company and us and what we like that we've been going to a very similar style of jean for well over 150 years. Think of how many generations have worn the same. Yes, some of the things have changed the way they use the material, the rivets, the sewing and the placement and the fit has been adjusted. But in general, this thing has descended from the original 501s that Levi was selling out in San Francisco. Now, our classic pair of 501s is going to have a straight fit at the waist and all the way down from the thigh down to the leg opening is pretty much going to be straight. So, for the modern eye, they may look a bit loose and what's interesting is you actually go over to the Levi's website, they've got their 1984 version, they've got their 1993 version. They understand that yes, they do play around with trends. You're also going to see this in the modern 501s, you're going to see a bit of stretch material. Why? Because we've really moved towards that performance fabrics. You may actually want to size down when you're going for something if it fits you well. If it can still fit you in the waist, you may find you actually with one style, you wear one size and with another style, you wear another. Other variations you're going to see out there of the 501 are the original shrink to fit. You're also going to see them in big and tall sizes. So, that's really nice if you just fit outside of the normal parameters. And if you can't decide at all, you just say, Antonio, give me the original 501s. They've got that on the website as well. 
Another cool thing with the 501s is they have the button fly. This is the classic Levi front opening. And I like on the waist, they've got a wider range on the 501. So if you're a bigger guy and you find it very difficult to find jeans, again, go to the website. 501s also come in the widest range of colors. So if you're looking for green, if you're looking for various types of medium to light washes, you're going to find it in the 501. Next up, we have the very popular 505s. And these are if you need just a little bit more of a relaxed fit around the thighs. Otherwise, it's a very similar fit, but if you've got a little bit heavier, thicker thighs, or you just want more room there, the 505 is gonna be the style you wanna look at. Now, what if you like the 501s, but you feel they're a little bit too retro? They go a little bit too high on the waist. You want something lower, and you wanna get rid of that button fly. You wanna go with the zipper. In that case, check out the 514s. You love the 501s, except the fit is just a little bit too loose. You want something closer, especially going down the leg, check out the 513s. Now, what if you want a more relaxed straight cut? You want something that's going to give you a bit more room than the original 501s? Check out the 551s or for even a bit more, the 559s. All right, gents, now let's talk boot cut. We've got the 517s, we've got the 527s. What's the difference? The 517s are the original cowboy jeans, made from 100% cotton. These are gonna fit at the waist overall, have a straight cut, except down at the leg. We're gonna have a little bit more of an opening. Why? Because this was made for men that wear boots, hence the name, the boot cut. Now, what's the 527s? How could they improve on that? Well, they wanted to go for a little bit more of a stretch fabric. This is a modern interpretation as well. They're going to go a little, not going to be as high up on the waist. So if you've tried a pair of 517s, you wanted something a little bit more comfortable, some with a bit more stretch, some that maybe fit a little bit lower on the waist, the 527 is what you want to look at. Next up, we have the relaxed and loose categories. The dominant player here going to be the 541s, the 550s, and the 559s. You're also going to see 560s, 569s, 570s, and what Levi's calls a loose fit. There is a difference between relaxed and loose. Relaxed jeans in general, by Levi's definition, are going to fit looser in and around the hips, the waist, and the upper leg area. While loose jeans are going to fit, basically they're going to have a lot more room in, down on the legs, and they may fit a little bit closer up at top. Now, the 541 is known as the athletic fit. For the guy that's got a larger seat, he's got thicker thighs, he wants to check out the 541s. These are going to give him room. They're still going to fit nicely at the waist, but overall, the drape and stuff is going to work for an athletic, heavy set frame. Now, the 550s, they've been around since 1985 and are affectionately known as the dad jeans. You've seen them out there. These are going to be a classic, relatively loose fit. If you want something comfortable to wear on the weekend, you got a dad bod, this may be an option for you. And if the 550s aren't your style, you want to go for something a little bit more modern, still a relaxed fit, but something that sits lower at the waist and it's going to have a little bit larger of a leg opening, check out the 559s. All right, so now you got a good overview of jeans, but you're asking, okay, what are the right jeans for my body type? Well, guys, I got you covered with this video right here. I make it simple. I go over the different body builds and the style, the type of jeans that are going to complement that build. What's your match? What's going to work for your particular body build? Find out in this video right here where I make it easy. I make it simple. Guys, click on the video right here. I will also link to it down in the description.